Uh, all right. So the second big piece of JP news we're going to talk about today, as soon as I find it out here, I think this is our last news topic today. We're going to talk about the beach. all that in under an hour, dude. It felt like there were so much more fucking tabs than we've <laughs> spent out. Well, it was just showing the units, but like I... Right. <laughs> so... But, uh, so the V-Jump came out, um, obviously I am not going to be able to read this word for word because I don't speak Japanese. Um, Top tier card arts, though. From, yeah, the, the card arts are amazing. Like, like, like these the just look so Gita good. Pose, but that dough caught him, or that, like, uh... Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. God, dude, Those are so awesome. Good. Um, but the things that we know for sure about this unit... He's a Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. He's going to be Awakening, and he's a TUR. He's not an LR, and that makes me happy. Also, down here in this corner here, I think it's somewhere in here. I can't read it, but somewhere down here, it talks about getting ready for the Dragon Ball Heroes collab that's coming for the Japanese side. So that confirms that we are getting the Dragon Ball Heroes collab, or at least Japan's getting the Dragon Ball Heroes collab in November. Yeah, right. Yeah, down here in the red where it says uh, Super Dragon Ball here, SDBH right there. So, what do you guys think about the big thing going around on the internet right now that, that we're about to get a Super Saiyan 4 category? About time. <laughs> I, I do say about time. That's only assuming that there's units to be added to the team, which could well, be yeah, the Dragon Ball Heroes categories, but. Yeah. There's what currently four Five. super saiyan 4 category Wait. characters that we can use We've got Wait. super saiyan 4 gogeta super saiyan 4 vegeta super saiyan 4 goku four. Four. and full power super saiyan 4 goku yep that's it that's not even enough to fill the team which means we're gonna have to have heroes units or some sort of what if units that fill up um i was watching somebody's video nolar Nolar or Toon, I can't remember whose video I was watching. And someone in the comment section said that they would like to see a Primal Power category where he leads the Primal Power and that consists of Super Saiyan 4s and Great Apes. Which makes sense because a lot of those units share at least one Link skill in the form of Saiyan Roar. Yeah. The only like problem, again, is you wouldn't be able to use Gogeta and Gogeta. I, I, I was like the only thing that I dislike about it to be honest because like I, feel, I, I don't know for me I really still just enjoy the tech one tech one I, mean, I haven't I haven't I haven't rainbowed already you know so it's like uh, yeah, I want to use them <laughs> yeah I, wanna... I don't want to just stop using him and I have like three extra just Gogeta. chilling there so. so so don't stop using him use him on mono tech teams because I highly doubt this guy's going to be tech oh no 100% you know um, I actually do wonder what type they're gonna give him. He just like for me, just based on his card art, I see him being STR. I don't know why. Please don't like, be ST STR. They don't fucking need I, it. I don't. I don't want him to. <laughs> like, I don't want him to be. But just staring at his like t the right side art of him, he just looks like a strength unit. I'm hoping it's going to be physical or in because they need it more yeah. than. No, I agree. I agree. In would be fucking fantastic. I was thinking in too. Yeah. Just because they need it doesn't mean they're going to give it to him, you know? Right. <laughs> it's like if if they were interested in in balancing out the uh, the color options, which if they're going to be introducing multiplayer in any kind of form, they should be kind of thinking about that. Then yeah, in, I feel, would be the right choice. <laughs> I mean, you already have the in Gogeta too that would like link really well if you do like a mono team too, you know. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so a lot of Go tanks, uh, some Go tanks that are in, I think, like the the, the Ghost one, like the Halloween one too. Good links. Isn't he in? Yeah, he's uh, Go tanks and Ghost. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, that's another good looking person. Yeah. It? It's a very solid option there. I mean, I um, use him for a couple of the Super Battle Roads. I mean, could he stuns, I think? Or yeah, he has a chance to stun, and I think he can yeah. heal off of uh, Rainbow Orbs. Yeah, so I used him for one of them. So, uh, 
the current tech go super saiyan 4 gogeta has a 70 percent chance to counter super attacks do you think we're going to see that on this one i think so because all the super saiyan 4s have has some kind of pretty much counter pretty much do you think it'll still be at 70 percent though because he's the only unit in only the game with 70 percent everybody else i believe is 30. it it depends on what stats they give him because the one thing that's really bad about the other gogeta is defense like he gets trashed sometimes thrashed around yeah i could see them buffing this one's defense and then maybe lowering his counter to like a 50 percent chance right like they they find that common ground of defense but also trying to like mitigate his his uh counter like percentage to at least not make him seem like having the ability to have better defense is almost pointless just for being able to counter attack because they want the unit to at least shine in every area or every aspect at least if you're bringing back another super saiyan 4 gogeta because we've only gotten one ever in this game like they'd have to do it make it something different than what we've seen with the current one yeah, <clears throat> but I agree. at least share some of the same qualities you know yeah 50 percent would probably be a good number i'd be fine with 50. i'd even be fine with taking him down to the 30 mark honestly so long as they give him something to make up for it because it yeah. really feels like a lot of the quote-unquote budget of that tech super or the tech ss4 that we have now feels like a lot of his budget went into that 70 percent mm -hmm. you know um that's also back then when those uniform <laughs> that's hard to now. leader skill that he had too what i don't yeah, remember it wasn't his leader skill that, to be that, released that yeah that was definitely part of the budget <laughs> <laughs> that was op to be released the forever <laughs> waiting <laughs> leader skill uh, good times I mean, good times that, that was the first time i think we talked about this before the stream started that was the first time i introduced the uh, categories right and we didn't know what mm -hmm. was going to happen so yep. that was all new so yeah the category system had literally just released on jp and it hadn't come to global yet, but they decided to release category leaders as part of the, the right. celebration and not bring categories to global early. The sons of guns. Yeah, I remember I got him and I'm like, well, I mean, I don't know what he's gonna do, but okay. Yeah, but I mean, th those were dark days of Dokkan. That was, that was really when people were hardcore fueling the global shaft train and I don't think it's ever stopped since. I mean, it hasn't since we still haven't got a bunch of easy A's that freaking they have gotten, JP's gotten. I, yeah, I mean, I'm I'm all about saying that the easy A's not coming on some sort of schedule <laughs> is crap, but again, that's just one negative compared to the positives that we have over JP and yada yada yada. I'm I know we can well well prepare games. for things. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I. JP Shaft, Global Shaft, those terms are just jokes to me. They're basically memes at this point. You know, I. I don't think it's fair to compare like what JP gets for one situation to what Global gets for you know another situation. If they're the exact same situation and it's happening during a, a like joint campaign, yes, we should have the exact same things. But yeah. like JP gets 85 stones during their Gohan celebration, Global only gets 63. Oh my God, it's the end of the damn world. That stuff's bullshit. Yeah, but we get like what uh, ticket banners with a lot of units, right? So I mean, we get yeah, tickets, I mean, JP, we get JP discounts, get we get step ups, we get. Unfortunately, I hate to use this as a positive. We get the pilafs trove. Hey, hey, ten bucks a month for like ninety something stones. I'm just saying that's good. The sub could exist without pilafs trove. Let's let let's be real. The sub could true, be its own true, thing true. without pilafs trove. The rest of pilafs trove is almost always shit, except for now yeah. that they're bringing these these tickets that you can buy to get guaranteed featured units yeah the gohan and uh, had that right mm -hmm. the ticket mm -hmm. battery yeah, yeah. i mean is that, is that worth it it like, depends on which version that they give us of the ticket um like last year around this time we had that what i think it was the frieza banner the lr frieza banner um where they gave us a ticket and you summoned like 20 or 25 units and it was guaranteed three ssrs and I think one was guaranteed to be a feature like that type of ticket for 30 bucks is amazing mm -hmm. these yeah. what was it the ones that you had like the step ups where it's like oh it was like four dollars for this one and seven dollars for this one and then 45 dollars for the last one <laughs> those ones are crap 
Like, because they, they lock all the good stuff behind the 45s, and then the cheaper ones that you buy don't give you shit. Right. You know? Um, but it really comes down to what is included in the gift box that you have to buy, because they it's never just the ticket by itself that you buy. You buy it in a little package, and it comes with some orbs, and it comes with this, and it comes with that. You know? Mm-hmm. So it... It, the, the entire value of it is not just predicated on what you're summoning for but that is where I would say 80 to 90 percent of the value of those things come from is the ability to summon mm. yeah. I also think they're all just too goddamn expensive <laughs> like seriously I do like you want me to pay like if, look at look at the the 91 stone pack not on sale. It's not even two multis, and they want fifty freaking dollars for that, forty something bucks for that. That's asinine to me. Yeah, it's just a tease. It's like, hey, dude, you're nine it's stones like, away. I could, I could go out and buy a six-month-old AAA video game for forty-five bucks, and probably enjoy it a lot more than ninety-one stones. I would enjoy it a hell of a lot more than 91 stones because you know what 91 <laughs> stones is? 91 stones is a multi and some link levels grind up. That's, I mean, that's, that's really all it is. Yeah, it is cheese. But, yeah. of course, anyone who enjoys something is going to take the opportunity to take a piss out of it every now and again. And I just, I hate the, the cost aspect of what they want us to pay for something that in the end we're not going to keep. Because yeah. when this game goes down, when the servers go down, they're not going to say, oh, hey, here you go, guys. Here's here's a fully released version with everything available that you can continue to play. Just it no longer gets updated with content. It's, nope, we're done with the game. We're shutting it down. Thanks for the money, bitches. We're out. Yeah. I mean, you can say the same thing when it comes to even gaming. Like, eventually, if the consoles start not making you know consoles like digital games if you don't buy physical copies like what are you gonna do with those you know why why is my switch not backwards compatible to my nintendo that i bought in 1987 <laughs> it should be <laughs> like i know that sounds really stupid when you say it but i'm a lifelong gamer i started gaming when i was five and the collection if i if i literally would have kept every video game thing that i've ever had in my entire life my shoebox apartment would have to have a second shoebox apartment just for my shit. True that. <laughs> you know, <laughs> like I understand that 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 <laughs> gaming, like buying a video game, is not a forever thing, right? Or at least it had no potential to be a forever thing before I would say earlier, you know, in the 2000s when we really got good internet and everything started transitioning to online. Look at your Steam library, which I'm sure most of the people in chat have a Steam library. What happens when Steam shuts down? Steam is forever. I don't know what you're talking about. What What happens when when <laughs> Gabe makes some sort of stupid decision that pisses off some cancel culture section of the video game population and Steam literally shuts down? I'm not saying that's exactly what's going to happen. I'm not predicting anything. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just throwing but that the out there as, as a hypothetical. Yeah. What happens yeah. when Steam shuts down? What happens they to your library of thousands of video games? They let us keep all our games. Nope. Just so they don't have to give you a refund for everything you ever spent. Yes. Nope. <laughs> they probably no. wouldn't even do that. To be no, fair. they would. They would. They wouldn't do any of those things. No, no. They, they keep their once, money, and uh, it's in their all. term. It's in their terms of service. You don't own anything that you're buying through Steam. You are paying for a licensing key to have access to the game for as long as Steam servers exist. You're not buying the game, you're buying the ability to access it through Steam. So, just keep that in mind. I mean, it's it's kind of a, a really shitty thing to talk about when you're, when you're covering a gacha game, the fact that these things will end eventually, and all of the time and the money that you've invested will go away. But that doesn't mean it's for nothing, because during this time, You've been playing a game. You've been investing money in a game that's been bringing Hours you entertainment. And that's where the value is. If you are having fun, if you log into this game every day and you're like, I love this game. I love popping bubbles. I love looking at pixels. I'm the <laughs> happiest motherfucker on the planet. Then it's time and money well spent. 
But I was very happy to see 50k Zenny on my account like three days ago. <laughs> but if you're like JMO and you hate the idea of grinding, I don't. No, I don't hate the. Or idea Or you'd rather of be playing Genshin. I really don't. Yeah. You know. Yeah, but Second you grind in that game. Today. Then do that. Yeah. What is up, my dudes? If you like this clip, be sure to check out the full episode down below in the description. Also in the description below, you can find all of our panelists on Twitch, YouTube, and various social media. Be sure to like and subscribe and ring that bell so that you know when the GGP puts up some freshly squeezed content.